It's been a busy couple of weeks for Emirates and they're the focus of today's aviation news recap, if you will. With critical news emerging left, right and centre, I thought it'd be important to cover it all in this one video, as I am currently travelling and unable to record up-to-date coverage on the industry. Now, the airline has announced more developments with its Airbus A380. The flagship, of course, from the 15th of April, will replace a 777-300ER on service to Casablanca meaning the Airbus A380 will once more connect Dubai with Morocco. For leisure and business travellers being targeted, there are now more opportunities to connect Casablanca with the cities around the globe. This includes Europe, West Asia and the Middle East, now being all more accessible as per the airline. Morocco is hoping to see tourism return following what has can only be described being a turbulent few years. The addition of the Airbus A380 from Emirates shows support for these attempts. However, it's not the only market Emirates has upsized on aircraft being offered to support returning demand and tourism. Emirates has rolled its A380 back onto several locations in recent weeks. Thus far, they have it featured on 40 destinations worldwide. However, by the end of the summer season, they'll see it at 50 destinations, and according to the airline, this represents close to 90% of its pre-pandemic A380 network. And we now move on to our next bit of news covering Emirates, who appeared once more in headlines following what was a pretty big expansion slash route resumption development. The carrier will ramp up its frequency of service to Hong Kong from March 29th to daily. This will complement the daily flight from Dubai to Bangkok, which also goes via Hong Kong. It will result in 14 weekly flights to this market that is looking to recover from the very harsh restrictions it has faced since the end of 2019. The Airbus A380 will be utilised on the daily Dubai to Hong Kong service. Flight EK380 will depart Dubai at 10.45 and touch down in Hong Kong at 10pm. The return flight EK381 will leave Hong Kong at 12.35 in the morning local time and arrive at 5 a.m. in Dubai. These times are local to the specific destination that I mentioned. This is not the first announcement involving the A380. As you know, just recently covered, they did announce it would be once again returning to Casablanca. Through Emirates' freight division, Emirates Sky Cargo, they did continue through the pandemic to transport imports and exports into markets such as Hong Kong, maintaining that all-important essential trade link. The daily service now with the 380 improves connectivity for those looking to travel the route or onwards and naturally just offers more flexibility for journeys. At the same time, it is supporting Hong Kong's recovery. For onwards travel, Emirates does already have established interline agreements with Hong Kong Airlines and Cathay Pacific, which may be very useful for those that do not see Hong Kong as their end destination. Code-sharing agreements can hugely benefit customers that are looking at more focused itineraries rather than just flying into a significant hub. The airline continued to say that it will resume its Tokyo Haneda service from the 2nd of April 2023. The Boeing 777 has been selected to operate EK321 with that flight departing Dubai at 7.50 in the morning and arriving into Haneda at 10.35 p.m. Following a couple hours on the ground, the plane will leave the following day at 12.05 in the morning and arrive in Dubai at 6.20 a.m. This is all relative local time. Japan has experienced post-pandemic travel and tourism, and Emirates' resumption of services is the latest vote of confidence for the country. Emirates launched their Haneda route in 2013, and since, it's been a fundamental part of connecting the locations, boosting travelers' choice and flexibility. However, because of the pandemic, this route was not operating as it once would have. Meanwhile, the airline also announced it would double its service to Brisbane, Australia, complementing a daily A380 service with a 777-300ER that will also operate from the city. It results in almost 12,000 seats per week. This is a pivotal gateway to Australia's global network and part of its recovery from the pandemic. The 777-300ER service will operate as EK430 and 431. EK430 will depart Dubai at 2.30 in the morning and arrive in Brisbane at 10.20pm. The return flight, EK431, will depart at 2.50 in the morning from Brisbane and arrive in Dubai at 11am in the morning. 
Our second daily service to Brisbane begins as we proudly celebrate 20 years of flying to the Sunshine State. Not only will this service cater to the demand of Australians looking to travel overseas, but also welcome more travellers and tourists from Dubai and across our network to enjoy Queensland, Australia's tourism mecca. These are comments from the Divisional Vice President for Australasia at Emirates. That's going to conclude today's video covering some of the latest news at the Dubai-based airline. If you have any thoughts, well, you can let me know down below in the comments. Thank you very much for tuning in and your continued support, and I will indeed see you next time.